chemical structure, and spectrum of activity. Here's a simplified classification. Mechanism of action, bactericidal, antibiotics that directly kill bacteria, bacteriostatic, antibiotics that inhibit bacterial growth but don't kill them, chemical structure, penicillins, antibiotics like penicillin and amoxicillin, which contain a B-lactam ring in their structure, cephalosporins, antibiotics like cephalexin and ceftriaxone, which are structurally related to penicillins, tetracyclines, antibiotics like doxycycline and tetracycline, which have a four-ring structure, macrolides, antibiotics like erythromycin and azithromycin, which have a large lactone ring, quinolones, fluoroquinolones, antibiotics like ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin, which target bacterial DNA replication, sulfonamides, antibiotics like sulfamethoxazole, which interfere with folate synthesis in bacteria. Spectrum of activity, broad spectrum, effective against a wide range of bacteria, both gram-positive and gram-negative. Narrow spectrum, effective against specific types of bacteria. Target bacteria, antibacterial, target bacteria, antifungal, target fungi, antiviral, target viruses. Usage, systemic antibiotics, taken orally or by injection to affect the entire body. Topical antibiotics, applied to the skin or mucous membranes to treat localized infections. Resistance. Some antibiotics are classified as last resort or reserve antibiotics, reserved for severe infections due to antibiotic resistance concerns. It's important to note that antibiotics within each category can vary in their specific properties, so this classification is a general overview. Proper antibiotic selection depends on the type of infection and the susceptibility of the bacteria involved. Like and subscribe for more thanks for watching. Smart Go, the game changer in YouTube world. Like and subscribe.